your punishment is not being punished and being punished and being punished once you're in jail, right? So it, it's, not, it's not a torture system. Doctors, community groups, and activists joining hands to bring attention to the sanitary conditions of detention centers and the inmates who reside within them. They say things were pretty bad before, but have only gotten worse since the start of the pandemic. But that's pretty much where you're going to be spending the next year is in your bathroom, eating in there, coming out sometimes for shower. Your, your, your bathroom is in there, so you're doing everything in there. This weekend marks one year since the first prisoner in Canada contracted COVID-19. Advocates and activists marking that by holding a press conference at the Immigration Holding Centre in Laval, saying they hope they can show people what life is behind these walls. Event organizers saying some detainees have been on hunger strike over the past month. They claim there's a lack of ventilation in the centre, a lack of basic hygiene, and that solitary confinement is being used as a misguided strategy to contain the virus in the prison. Um, Marlon was instrumental to launching uh, the hunger strike this past month, and he courageously spoke out um, about the conditions uh, that were, people were facing here at the detention centre. Um, I think the fact that he, um, he was deported with only five days' notice, even while he was still presenting COVID-19 symptoms, uh, demonstrates to what point uh, the CBSA is willing to go to deport migrants. I've heard people that have been threatened if they don't take the COVID test, and then even when they do take the COVID test, they're still quarantined for 14 hours, 14 days even after a negative test. We're out here with the message that uh, people shouldn't have to starve themselves uh, for, for these things to be taken seriously and for us to address these problems. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.